Let's talk about Gunslinger for a second. People wanted to hear some additional stuff about engravement things. So, if you play a Gunslinger, this Peacemaker, we're not gonna talk about Time to Hunt. It's a hipster class, you can play if you want, but I'm not gonna talk about I'm talking about the main meta one, which is Peacemaker. Peacemaker engravement itself, Jack of All Trades engravement, gives a lot at five notes, which is only measly five notes, you get a bunch of stuff. So most Gunslingers go one on Peacemaker. In the NA server, I guess your goal is to get something like Hitmaster. If an attack is not head or back, what is head or back? Sometimes if you highlight your skill, it specifies that if it's a hit attack or a back attack. And if you notice here, Gunslinger shotgun skills are also back attack. But if you enable this tripod here, which I'm going to talk about tripods a little bit later, Later. The Hitmaster actually applies into all Gunslinger skills. That's why everyone goes Hitmaster. So in the beginning, what kind of engravements you would go for, which is not Grudge and Curse Stall. Grudge and Curse Stall is always recommended by almost every single class. It's just that it is a bit expensive or the penalty might be too high for some of the newbies. And if your engravement goes above four, four threes, or five threes even, that's big, even three threes, there are not that many choices to increase your damage. You're not gonna use barricade, right? You're not gonna use all out attack or you're not gonna use you know, stabilized position or anything like that. When you have a limited amount of notes, the diamond notes, your best bet would be having level one peacemaker as highest level on hitmaster. I think that's pretty good. Getting sharp blunt is more for higher level because sharp blunt, what it does is it gives additional damage to crit attacks, but you gotta have a certain amount of crit percentage to make this efficient. Even with the Peacemaker's passive, the shotgun having 15% more crit attack, you need about 1200 to 1300 plus the Peacemaker plus the Synergy skill, which we're going to talk about in a bit. It goes about the 75 to 85% crit, which it makes Sharp Blunt uh, effective to use. But this doesn't apply into players who are in tier 1, 2, 3, the beginning of tier 3. This is more of like a futuristic stuff. What should you aim for is something like Peacekeeper 1, or Peacekeeper 2-3 is also good too, because it gives a lot of crit and it gives a lot of damage on uh, rifles. But you will go for Peacekeeper 1 and Hitmaster on level 3. Or hey, you know, I'm pretty lucky. I got this uh, Grudge Stone or whatever. Or I, I, I read some Grudge. It will be level 3 Grudge and then level 1 Peacekeeper. Or level 3 Curse Stall and level 1 Peacekeeper. So this gives 16%. This gives 16%. This gives 20%. But be aware of the penalties. So that covers it. This adrenaline over here uh, is more of a cherry on top because engravement that is like jack of all trades, really, for classes that are really easy on spamming skills because it gives crit and attack uh, damage. So I think that covers most of the engravement. So if I go over tripods, so your handgun mode is not designed for damage for Peacemaker. Why do I have a lot of level fours? Let's go from the top, right? All these are preferences. You can take a grenade if you want. You can take other things if you want to. But these level four skills, you notice, you'll notice this tripod. I think it'll be translated into weakness. So if you have this skill landing, you'll have this icon saying this person will have 10% more crit chance. Therefore, if I have 60% crit chance, it will be 70. Gunslinger has three skills. Skill number one has this uh, tripod. Skill number two has this tripod. And your agile shooting, which I covered it on the first video of the Gunslinger. People were calculating if your crit is 60% and then you put your synergy skill on. That's what people have been saying like until until I've like started this game. And then you have quick step, which is really good. You have this uh, tripod here, level one. It increases your attack speed and increases your movement speed, but you have to land your second hit like that. Then you have this buff on you. Your attacks are much faster and you move faster. This is one of those critical skills that you take as well. Let's talk about this grenade real quick. So if you level your grenade up to seven, what happens is you get this thing called a frost grenade. And you can do whatever you want here, like, you know, large explosion, you put a frost grenade. Sometimes in a raid, CC is important. So if CC is something that you need, you would, you would take a frost grenade. Plasma bullet, you don't use. Mado stream, you don't use. Somersault shot, you use it for maneuvering, right? Maneuvering. And equilibrium, same thing. Death fire, so you notice at the first tripod, the reason why you have this is because if you use this, you're in super armor. So sometimes when you get hit, you guys notice you get jump all the way back and just fall down, right? If you have this enabled, what happens is you don't get fallen back. So if you can react to it fast enough, you're not gonna be knocked back and then get comboed into death. So uh, some, some skill players use this just to make sure that they don't get fallen back. Because if you get fallen back and get comboed, gunslingers usually die and you don't want that to happen. So usually you would use a super armor and then maybe like 
space away or something like that. And then you have the agile shooting, obviously with the Oni at level four and Peacekeeper at level four. Usually without the level four, what happens is she just stands still. You can't counter with this. This is too bad, right? You have to walk on front of them and try to counter. It's much easier if you enable this tripod and dash forward with it. I have Reina Bullet at level seven. You don't need to have it like this. I just have it like this because my tripod is level five and four because I was just lucky with it. It just does more damage at the back. If all my skills are in cooldown, I can just use this. You know, you can always take down to one and maybe level up agile shooting to have additional movement because it increases movement or increases like dodge rate and etc. You can level up something like quick step to add another super armor. It's the choice is like up to you. So if you have limited skill points, you would get level four of these critical skills first and then work on your shotguns and rifles. The reason why the handguns like a big like a uh, talks are really longer because this is where like all the preferences are. Shotgun and rifles is set in stone. You don't do anything else. For example, you don't use this at all it's shit you have the shotgun fire you have the skill that i've explained before it removes the head and back attack increases the crit rate and increases the damage this is why gunslingers are a little bit more op compared to deadeye because it increases the damage and removes the back attack so gunslingers are not reliant on back attack anymore so it doesn't require additional mechanical skills for you to do enough damage so for gunslinger let's say if i go to shotgun I can hit it here and still do, da still do the same damage, or I can hit it at the back and still do the damage. What happens on Deadeye is, if you hit it from the side, it doesn't do enough damage, it doesn't, it doesn't crit as much as the Deadeye will need to always hit at the back to do the right damage. That's the biggest difference between Gunslinger and the Deadeye. Most of the tripods, obviously you do damage related. So this is damage related, damage related, and damage related. All skills mostly should be damage related to increase your damage. This one I would just put down on cooldown because this also counts as a counter. This is count as a counter as well, but it's a little bit slower. So if you're skilled enough, you can actually counter stuff with it. Now you have uh, the second shotgun skill, which is at max again. The damage related, damage related, damage. They're all damage related. And this is also damage related as well. If you switch into the second tripod, it's pretty good on chaos dungeons because it circles around you. So it does all that attack. It's good for chaos dungeons. Now, if you go to rifles, this rifle, some people use it, but I don't, I don't prefer it because the second rifle also has a super armor. Gunslinger has a lot of super armors, um, and that's why she's able to maneuver a lot of stuff. As long as you're skilled, you can not get hit, plus uh, not get knocked back either. So, for example, instead of using this as damage, what happens is, oh, I'm going to get hit. So, I use this so I don't get knocked back and then dodge away. And then, you know switch into a handgun and then fight and stuff you don't level this up if you don't have enough skill points by the way because you don't want to go for utilities first you want to go for damage first so let's talk about the rifles again you have the tripod one to make it into not super armor but you get hit but it's not the skills are not going to be cancelled but you can get knocked back and then you have these two skills which is all also damage related as you notice here this particular tripod increases in damage when monsters are under 50% the total HP. So what does that mean? You would use rifles more if Guardian's HP is below 50%. So in the beginning, Gunslinger tend to prioritize shotgun first and then prioritize rifles later because it will do more damage. It's this plus the Peacemaker's engravement. Rifle skill will do 10% more damage when they're under 50%. So this stacks up. That's why it does a lot. That's why it does a shit ton of damage at the end game when the boss's HP are getting lower and lower. And now you have focus shot, same thing. Fast aim, and then you have double tap, which it increases the damage on your last fire bullet. The choice between these two, if you don't have a legendary gale wind, or if you don't have high swiftness, you need to go on the, the other tripod. Let me show you the difference. If I go to this tripod, what happens is if I fire it, you fire it twice. The reason why I have this one is because it just does more damage in the end. Because it fires it three times, and then it fires the last one, which it which increases the damage even more. If you don't have a gale wind, and if you don't have enough swiftness, you would go, you would go to this tripod because you're walking around, you're quickly firing, and then you walk around like that, right? You'd be playing it this way instead of waiting because. If I use the other one, and then you're slow. So let me remove this scale wind, okay? You'd be much slow. Look at that. Look how slow it is. You'd be getting hit. 
So going to target down now. Target down is one of the best skills you have because you can actually control where you can hit. Like that, right? It's very simple. Fast aiming, you know, you have four hits instead of three, and then you just do damage way more. And then for awakening, no one uses this one. Uh, people use the other one because it's easier to land, faster, and it also does stagger. This one does more damage, but don't really, it's not a, uh, unless you're like, you know, feel like high nooning, uh, you can use it too. Uh, I think that's, and I think that covers all the skills and details and tripods and stuff.